Hello, what's up everyone? Sam Brown here. And today is a video tutorial on how to create a nice effects like this. This is the um, wallpaper I recently made. Look at this, look at this. Look at this. Optical flares is actually made from Photoshop. And now here you are to learn how to make things like this. So, okay, let's turn it off. Make a new composition. Make it the size is uh, 1600 width and 900 height. And make sure the background is black, completely black. Now you make a new layer. And name is Trick. Now, besides the uh, the brush by holding alternate key and move it right left. Now I'm moving to left and to right. To right is to make it bigger and up down to make it smoother. So up is smoother, down is harder. So now I want to make it the smoothest and the size is about uh, 292. Now pick a color. Pick a color. Now I want the cyan color as the background effect for the optical flares. The trick. Now make sure you didn't overlap this. Uh, the brush did not overlap the working area, the dark area. Make it in the middle. Okay. Oops, sorry. Now you have to adjust the opacity to about uh, 50, 51. Click it once. Now switch it to, to white color and the opacity is about 92. Let's uh, lower the brush size a bit and click it once. Then resize it by clicking the move tool. Resize it like this. Make it longer a bit. Longer so that is the streak for the optical flares. Okay. Double click it and make it convert to smart object because you convert to the small object. So later when you recite it smaller, the smaller, when you recite it bigger, it will the quality will remain the best. So create another new layer and uh, oops, that's the right and then it. Optical flare. Uh, I mean optical flare should be enough. So now create a new layer. It will make sure it's on top of the streak. So see the brush. Resize it to the desire you want. Make sure it doesn't overlap the dark area. Now switch it to the color background like you switched it before. Uh, the opacity will be 50 plus 53. Click it on the middle once and switch it to the, black, uh, to the white one. Okay, to the whitest. Okay, the opacity about 90 plus. Smaller bit and click on the middle. Click it once again. Okay, you have now completed the optical flares. It should be better like this. So for better, for better quality, right click on the layer here, right click and convert to smart object to maintain the quality of the image. So you to uniformly resize it horizontally. So you hold out and resize it like this. Then duplicate another one. Exactly like this. Resize it like so. Okay, here is your optical flares. It's quite easy to make. Uh, we adjust it a bit here. We will obviously down a bit. 
Fuck. Oh, fuck. If you want to add a uh, extra, uh, I mean extra extra effects on it, uh, means like there is like a sparks here, like a very reflective things like into the camera the bright things. So you create a new layer. Draw a rectangle, long, long rectangle. So the brush. Then click the color you want it. Size it, opacity about 60 plus. Don't make sure you don't overlap the bottom here. Click the white brush and the obviously 95 and okay, it's up to you. Make it like this. Okay, select the selection tool. This back and hold control and press T. Click wrap and drag the little circle thing here upward until it reaches your desire. This to make like, some kind of extra effects on the optical layers. Hit enter and use the the eraser to erase the one that you the edge that are not you want anymore. Okay, click the move to maybe you want to rotate it. Use the uh, the eraser or the ability just to edit the one duplicate another one Okay, that's it. Okay, now you have to select all the layers you have made. Select all layers, select one of the layers, right? And hold shift, and click on the top. Right click on it, merge layers. After merge layers, you see there is now the convert to smart object icon. So right click and oops. Right click on the layer and convert to smart object. This is to maintain the quality. Now I want to make a text for the optical flares to work better. Like so. See? The optical flares work better on text. So let's turn off. Create new text. Make my name and the name. Change the character to the character you want. For example, this one should be better. Oops. 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 Okay, make sure this layer to be named as optical so you won't confuse next time you edit too much layer about maybe uh, 50 plus of layer at once so you move it to any place you want and usually to make it better can just make it smaller and place it on the bottom of the text. You size it like this. Lower, a little right, press enter. And you can just duplicate another one. Put it right here. 
Bika B. And here it is. The optical slayer you has made. We're gonna move it to the center of it. Okay, now you look at the optical flares, make it very big, just like the previous one. the trick if you want to change the color of the optical flare from now the, the flare color is in blue color cyan color now choose the optical flare that you want to change the color click image oops if you want to change the color you make sure you rasterize it make sure you confirm the place is right there but after you have rasterized it the quality will be better if you resize it bigger again so rasterize layer Image adjustment, hue and saturation, and adjust the color you want. The best suits with blue should be yellow. Press OK. You can adjust the saturation here, lightness. Uh, yep. Yep. Okay, like this. We want to change the saturation for the big one. Rest lines, uh, adjustment, issue, saturation. Here it is. That is for the T video tutorial on optical flares. Thank you for listening to everything I have said. I teach you. Please remember to subscribe me. Thank you. Here's the preview of the layer. The optical flares layer that we are wanting to do actually, and here is the result from this tutorial. You can any any anyway custom customize it any way you like because the creativity is depends on the experience you made on the Photoshop you had tried. So this is the experience that I have tried. So good luck. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.